thank you for joining me for our first ever summer reading program team craft. So today we're going to be making a no sew tote bag out of an old t-shirt. Who doesn't have old t-shirts lying around that you don't need, right? And trust me, if this craft is easy enough for me, it's easy enough for you. So we're going to go ahead and begin. Supplies. One old t-shirt. You'll notice I have a dare t-shirt. We support this. Yay. No drugs. All right. You also will need a pair of scissors. That is all. I told you, super easy. I can handle it. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is take your old t-shirt and lie it flat out on a table. Next, you're going to cut off the arms. There we go. You can cut them however close you want to, depending on how wide you want your tote bag handles to be. I'm just going to kind of cut them straight off. The idea is I'm going to try to make sure that I cut all the way off of the uh, sleeve so that you don't have a lot of that extra sleeve or the, um, the sewing lines left there, the seams. I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting. These scissors are just normal scissors, they aren't fabric scissors or anything like that, which might have helped me if I had them, but I couldn't find them on my coworker's desk, so we're just going to use normal scissors. You could use kitchen shears if your mom lets you, you could use any kind of scissors, it doesn't really matter, just as long as they cut through the scissors. All right, just going to slow down. Ooh. One sleeve gone. Good, good. Now we'll do the other sleeve. You could fold your t-shirt over and cut both sleeves at once if you want it to be perfectly symmetrical. I'm not about perfect anything, so I'm just going to do them separately. But feel free to do that if you want. Sleeve number two. Gone. Now you'll have two awesome holes that will be used for your tote bag handles. The next thing you'll do is cut the neck a little bit wider. You're looking for a nice big space to use as the hole for your tote bag. So if you're looking to carry kind of bigger items, cut them a little bit, cut the hole a little bit bigger, or you can cut it a little bit smaller. The way that you cut your uh, neck hole will also depend on, it will also affect how wide your tote bag handle straps are. So you can completely decide how big or small you want it. I'm going to go with kind of a medium. You can always cut this more later if you decide you want it bigger. So this isn't permanent. Just kind of go following the line of the the neck a little bit. If you had a v-neck t-shirt, so you would just cut around the v-neck, it really doesn't matter. Very flat. Like I said, easy cut. Okay, there's that. So I'm looking right now, that looks like a pretty decent hole for the top of a tote bag, and if you're using a 100% cotton shirt, you know it's going to stretch a little bit, so you have a little bit of give. It doesn't have to be rock size. All right, now that you have the arms cut off and the neckline cut out, you need to decide how you want your tote bag to look. You can decide how big you want it to be and if you want any fringe on the bottom. The next thing we're going to do is cut fringe lines down the bottom so that we can tie the bottom together to create the bottom of our tote bag. If you like the idea of having a cool little fringe that looks like tassels at the bottom of your bag, go ahead and leave your shirt right side out because then you can just tie the, the tassels at the bottom and they'll be on the bottom of your bag as you're folding it. If you're like me, I don't really want the tassels on the outside because Let's not kid ourselves. I'll get it hooked on something or snagged on my car seat or something. So what I'm going to do instead is turn my shirt inside out so when I tie the tassels off, they'll be in the inside of my shirt. So 
I will go ahead and turn my shirt inside out. Oh, goodbye, Dare. We'll see you later. All right, then we'll flatten it back out again. And the idea here is you want this one, you do want to cut both sides at the same time. Once you have your shirt tucked inside out the way you like it, also measure how deep you want your tote bag to be. So the bottom of my armholes are about here and I don't need a super deep tote bag because um, this is a decently wide t-shirt so I think maybe I want it to come oh uh, that's probably about deep enough for me. Again not that much like however deep you need. And at this point I'm just going to make a slit in the side up as high as I want my tote bag, wherever I want the bottom of my tote bag to be. So I'll just cut in about maybe three or four inches. Yeah, that's fine. That way I have two uh, even lines right here. Okay. There we go. So now you have the top layer of your t-shirt here, and then the bottom layer. I'm going to cut this side a little bit more. I think the other side is a little bit more. Good enough. Okay. So now you have the top layer and the bottom layer, and you're going to line those up as well as you can, and then cut strips that are together, so you're cutting both layers at once. So I'm going to make the, the little strips for the tassels maybe about half an inch to three quarter of an inch. It doesn't matter. You don't want to do them too wide though. The more tassels or strips that you have cut at the bottom, the more knots you're going to be able to do, and that will strengthen your tote bag and make sure that you have less gap in the bottom of your bag, especially if you're going to try to be carrying small things, pencils, pens that might slip through gaps. You're going to want to do smaller, smaller, All right, so now you have the bottom of your t-shirt with all this little tassely fringe on the bottom. And now we're gonna start tying knots. I was not a Girl Scout or a Boy Scout or any Scout at all, so I never learned knot tying. So we're just gonna do a basic knot. You take the first two at the very um, end of your shirt and tie those just in a, a normal, like you're starting to tie your shoes tight and you'll want to tie it, make sure it's tightened all the way up to the bottom of where you cut the strip. You don't want there to be a lot of gap in between. Try to tie it as tight as you can up to that line. I'm just going to do um, two knots because we're gonna do a little bit more later. So just lift the, uh, like you're starting to tie your shoes, do one knot and then just do a second. Then I'll do three of these pairs and then I'll show you a trick. Once you have three sets of knots done, you're going to want to kind of double tie these. It sounds kind of confusing and I'm not sure how else to describe it, except you have this knot that was a set of two, you have this second knot, which is a set of two. And in order to kind of close the gap between those two knots, we're going to take one from one from knot number one and one uh, strand from knot number two and then tie those together to close off that gap in between the two knots. So we'll just kind of keep doing that as we go along. So you're going to have multiple knots. You should get a merit badge for this once you're done. Doing that with knot number three and knot number two, and I will tie off a section between knot number three and knot number two. And hopefully, this will keep any gaps that might have occurred from causing problems with your tote bag. All right, then I'm just going to keep on going.
afraid to turn my bag inside out. Okay, here we go. A finished t-shirt tote bag. The bottom is all tied up and you can tell with the double knots, there's definitely no uh, holes or gaps in there, so I could carry lots of stuff without it falling through the bottom. And because we did the double knots, it should be very strong. If you just like a t-shirt tote bag that's black, look, it's reversible. And it has the fun fringe on the bottom. So two tote bags in one. There is an easy no-sew t-shirt tote bag. You can make this at home with just two pairs, scissors, and a teacher. If you have any questions, feel free to call us at the library and I can walk you through it. And if you need an extra t-shirt, I might have a couple that I can give you as well. So thanks for joining us.